What's up you guys, Jana Breslin here, and today I'm going to show you how I make my morning smoothies. This smoothie is something that I have every single day and I make sure to get it in every day because I put so many nutrients into it. Um, this is one of my favorite meals and I'm gonna show it to you now. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some water first. Just a little bit, just to cover the bottom because when I add some dry ingredients, I don't want them to stick to the bottom. Okay, so my first ingredient is going to be flax seeds. So I actually put two tablespoons of flax seeds in here. I love flax seeds because they are high in fiber and fill you up as well. And then I'm also going to put in one tablespoon of chia seeds. They also have a lot of fiber as well and I love them. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add is some coconut milk as well. I prefer the can because it usually doesn't have any additives or um, things that make it thicker, so I just prefer this kind. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a splash, maybe like half a cup. And then I'm going to add some of my other ingredients. So one thing I have here is turmeric and turmeric is one of my absolute favorite ingredients because it's an anti-inflammatory and has antioxidants as well so I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of turmeric and then this might sound a little random but I'm actually going to be adding some pepper and salt as well I add pepper because pepper actually helps you absorb nutrients from other things so just like the turmeric, it's, it becomes more bioavailable when you add the pepper. So I'm going to add a few shakes of this. That should be enough. And then I'm also going to add some pink salt. Salt is not bad for you guys. Um, just remember that pink salt has tons of minerals and vitamins as well. So Or not, not vitamins per se, but more minerals. So I love adding this to a lot of my um, recipes. So just a little bit, not too much. And now I'm going to add some protein. Um, I prefer chocolate protein powder. Um, I like to do uh, plant-based protein just because I feel like it's uh, better digested. So I'm just gonna add one scoop of the chocolate protein. And then I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of glutamine as well. So. Glutamine is great because it, um, it helps you um, recover from your workouts, and it's also a um, immune booster, booster as well. So it helps you fight some colds, and it heals your gut too. It's really good for healing your gut and making sure your insides are good to go. Another ingredient I love to add to my smoothies is creatine. This is great for pushing through your workouts and um, just making sure that your workouts are effective. So I really like adding creatine to my smoothies. This actually is, um, one scoop is five grams. So that's usually all you really need for a day. Um, I like only adding five grams. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some stevia because this is how I like to sweeten my smoothies. Just a few drops in there. And then I am going to add some of my wet ingredients. So here I have just a handful of blueberries. I prefer all of my produce is organic, so I always try to get organic produce as much as I possibly can because I know it's not filled with pesticides or you know stuff like that. So that's just what I prefer. So I'm gonna add my blueberries now. Ooh, looks like blood. <laughs> okay, and then now I'm gonna add some of my celery. I'm just gonna cut the ends off here. I'm gonna cut these in half to make them fit. I'm just gonna throw them in there. And then I also have a cucumber that I'm gonna cut off the ends. This is just a baby cucumber here. And then avocado. Now, I like to add a whole avocado. Um, I love healthy fats, so I love having um, as much of that as I can in my diet. Okay, perfect, so I'll just scoop this aside. 
And then this is kind of a random ingredient that I like to add to smoothies, but um, they're mineral, mineral drops. So they have sodium, chloride, potassium, um, magnesium as well. So it has a lot of good minerals that it's good to have in your diet as well. So I just like to add that to my smoothies to kind of add some extra nutrients in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some greens. This is just baby kale, baby chard, and baby spinach. As you can see, I get a lot of my produce from Trader Joe's. I love them. So I'm just gonna add about a handful into my smoothie. Okay, and then my last ingredient is gelatin. So this is one of my favorite products. You can get this on Amazon. I really like it a lot because it is gelatin. It's amazing for your hair, amazing for your skin and nails. Um, it's really high in protein as well. So I add about a tablespoon of this to all of my smoothies. Just on the top there. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some water just to fill it up a little bit more. You kind of eyeball a lot of this stuff too and make it how you want. Okay, and now we're gonna blend it up. Okay, so we just blended our smoothie and it is super awesome. This, I know the color is not amazing. <laughs> it doesn't taste like Jamba Juice, but it's still very, very good, very healthy, and I love how it tastes, especially with the added fruit and stevia. I really enjoy it. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. And this could be one serving, it could be two servings. You can definitely share it with a friend or a family member. I actually finish a whole smoothie like this um, to myself every day. So it keeps me very full. I know I'm getting all my nutrients. I know I'm getting all my vitamins. Super healthy and it makes me feel awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Super good. I think I have a mouth. <laughs> it's on my face.